Hi everyone and welcome to today's video session. My name is Thomas and I'm one of the IELTS teachers here at Lango Learning System. Our online video sessions are designed to help you improve a certain aspect of one of the four key competencies for your IELTS exam, in this case reading. In today's video session, I'm going to look at the reading section and explain each question individually, which will hopefully help you guys improve your reading skills and provide you with some helpful strategies you can use in the exam. Continuing with the reading section from Cambridge 10, today we're going to do the second passage of test two. This passage is about gifted children and learning. Question number 14. A reference to the influence of the domestic background on the gifted child. Our keywords here are influence, domestic background and gifted child. For this question, we need to find out about the domestic background referred to in the passage. Coming to paragraph A, the author states the necessity of home educational provision and reported verbal interactions with parents, number of books and activities in their home, etc. Giftedness is similar to educational backup at home, so our answer is A. Question number 15. A reference to what can be lost if learners are given too much guidance. Our keywords here are what could be lost and too much guidance. We have to position where the information referring to too much guidance is indicated. It can be spotted in paragraph D, where the writer says that, conversely, teachers who have a tendency to over-direct can diminish their gifted pupils' learning autonomy. Too much dependence on the teacher risks loss of autonomy and the motivation to discover. This can be understood as too much support and guidance from teachers can cause a drop in students' autonomy and motivation. Over-direct is synonymous with too much guidance, our answer is D. Question number 16, a reference to the damaging effects of anxiety. Our keywords are effects and anxiety. To answer this question, we have to find information regarding anxiety. The writer mentions in paragraph F that fear, for example, can limit the development of curiosity, which is a strong force in scientific advance because it motivates problem-solving behavior. From this, it can be inferred that curiosity is affected by fear and anxiety. So our answer would be F. Number 17. Examples of classroom techniques which favour socially disadvantaged children. Our keywords are techniques and socially disadvantaged children. You have to seek for the information about disadvantaged children. The writer indicates at the end of paragraph D that there are quite a number of new methods which can help, such as child-initiated learning, ability peer tutoring, ETC. Such practices have been found to be particularly useful for, or in other words, favour, right children from deprived areas. Some of the classroom methods like child-initiated learning and ability peer tutoring show their effectiveness for socially disadvantaged children. Techniques are methods and practices, and socially disadvantaged and deprived have the same meaning. So our answer is D. Question number 18. Less time can be spent on exercises with gifted pupils who produce accurate work. Our key words are less time and exercises. Shaw and Konevsky state clearly in paragraph C that if the gifted merely think more quickly, then we need only teach more quickly. If they merely make fewer errors, then we can shorten this practice. Produce accurate work and make fewer errors are synonymous, and less time spent on exercises is the same as shorten the practice. Our answer is B. Number 19, self-reliance is a valuable tool that helps gifted students reach their goals. Our keywords are self-reliance and reach goals. In paragraph E, Simonton summarizes that above a certain high level, characteristics such as independence seem to contribute more to reaching the highest levels of expertise than intellectual skills due to the great demands of effort and time needed for learning and practice. Self-reliance and independence mean the same thing, as do goals and the highest levels of expertise. Our answer here is D. Question 20. Gifted children know how to channel their feelings to assist their learning. Our key words are channel feelings and assist learning. Look at the last paragraph. In Buckert's 1991 review of emotion in the learning of very high IQ and highly achieving children, she found emotional forces in harness. They, gifted children, were not only curious, but often had a strong desire to control their environment, improve their learning efficiency, and increase their own learning resources. Channel their feelings and emotional forces in harness have the same way meaning, as do assist their learning and improve learning efficiency. And this would tell me that our answer was E. 
Number 21. The very gifted child benefits from appropriate support from close relatives. Now, key words are benefits and support from relatives. In paragraph A, the author states that a very close relationship was found when children's IQ scores were compared with their home educational provision. The higher the children's IQ scores, especially over 130, the better the quality of their educational backup, measured in terms of reported verbal interactions with parents and number of books and activities in their home, for example. The researcher stated in this paragraph is Freeman. Support from close relatives and educational backup or home educational provision mean the same thing. Our answer here is A. 22. Really successful students have learnt a considerable amount about their subject. Our keywords here are learnt and a considerable amount. We can look at the information from paragraph E. Individuals who know a great deal about a specific domain will achieve at a higher level than those who do not. Really successful and achieve at a higher level learn a considerable amount and know a great deal, and subject and specific domain are all synonymous here. Our answer, therefore, is C. For questions 23 to 26, we complete the missing word in the sentence. Number 23. One study found a strong connection between children's IQ and the availability of un and un at home. Keywords, connection, children's IQ and at home. In paragraph A, the author discusses that a very close relationship was found when children's IQ scores were compared with their home educational provision. The higher the children's IQ scores, especially over 130, the better the quality of their educational backup measured in terms of reported verbal interactions with parents, number of books and activities in their home, for example. A strong connection means a very close relationship, so our answer is books, and activities respectively. 24. Children of average ability seem to need more direction from teachers because they do not have, and our keywords here are average, more direction, and they do not have. To deal with this question, we need to find out about average ability children. In paragraph B, the author indicates that there appears to be a qualitative difference in the way that the intellectually highly able think compared with more average ability or older pupils for whom external regulation by the teachers often compensates for lack of internal regulation. While direction and regulation and lack and do not have have the same meanings here. So our answer would be internal regulation. 25. Metacognition involves children understanding their own learning strategies, as well as developing. Our keywords here are metacognition and developing. What we need to look at is the information about metacognition. In paragraph B, it's stated that to be at their most effective in their self-regulation, all children can be helped to identify their own ways of learning, metacognition, which includes strategies of planning, monitoring, evaluation, and the choice of what to learn. Emotional awareness is also a part of metacognition, so children should be helped to be aware of their feelings around the area to be learned. Understand and identify are the same thing, which gives us our answer, emotional awareness. Number 26. Teachers who rely on what is known as hmm, often produce sets of impressive grades in class tests. Keywords here are rely on, produce impressive grades and tests. Look at paragraph D. The writer states that, although spoon feeding can produce extremely high examination results, these are not always followed by equally impressive life successes. Extremely high and impressive. Grades and results and tests and examinations have the same meaning here. Our answer is spoon feeding. I finished the explanation for the reading section for test 2, part 2. Don't forget to note down and practice new words that you struggled with in this passage in order to sharpen and enhance your vocabulary. If you write them down and then learn them by heart, it's going to be a really good way to ensure that they stick in your head. And you can trust me on that one. I really hope that you found this session helpful in preparing you for your IELTS test. If you'd like to sign up for IELTS courses here at Lango, please click on the link below. Our courses are designed to cater to your individual needs and to provide you with personalised learning pathways. Remember to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell button to get notifications of our latest videos. I've been Thomas at Lango Learning System and hopefully I'll see you for the next session. Bye.